Hey fishermen, Aqua Duelist here, and I'm back from my little time I took off. I had like a little mini vacation for like two days, and then uh, my work schedule's changed, so yeah, I don't know if it's going to be changing again, but uh, moving forward, I think uh, as far as video, you know, upload schedule, I'm thinking it's going to be like maybe uh, Monday, um, like a Monday video and like a Thursday video, or like Thursday, Sunday, it's, it's really weird, um, those are like the three days I'm looking at right now, uh, still gonna be going for two days a week, so yeah, I just wanted to announce that real quick, um, so everyone's not wondering what's going on, but yeah, so back and doing a update to my XYZ Dragon Cannon Turbo deck, and this card got a new card, or this deck got a new card support, in King's Court and really just surprised and happy about that and this is actually like this deck is the most viewed on my channel um, as far as video goes the last deck profile I did is actually um, my most viewed video surprisingly um, but then again I'm like the only person who's actually playing this deck in 2020 you know 2021 I mean the last one was in 2020 I think it was June so uh, yeah, so yeah, Dazeef, there's at least one person playing the deck, so yeah. We're going to go ahead and jump right into this deck profile. So starting off with the monster lineup. Playing three copies of <clears throat> X um, Head Cannon here. Uh, I really wish he was a Union, but sadly he's a Vanilla. But that does open up some really weird support. Uh, next, playing three copies of Y Dragon Cannon. Uh, he can only be equipped to X. And then we're playing three copies of Z Metal Tank. And Z Metal Tank can be equipped to either X Head Cannon or, you know, our uh, Y Dragon Head here. So just want to, you know, clarify that real quick. People wanting to, you know, go into this deck, um, you know, because it. it it matters somewhat with certain cards it actually matters so going off to our other monsters so I'm playing three copies of gold gadget here and three copies of silver gadget so these are like our extenders in a sense um, is that can very easily make rank fours so we are open to not only fusions but some uh, pretty good you know just rank four toolbox stuff so Excuse me, that's always nice. Um, so I I, you, I I just felt like I wanted to max out on the get the gold and silver gadgets. Like honestly, they're 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 just solid machine light extenders, and you know it's got some synergy there with the deck. So now I'm playing two copies of Union Driver um, because you know he, he like the thing is we do play cards that you know can essentially equip. Uh, unions from the deck. So the uh, thing that, that's cool with Union uh, playing two Union Drivers, I played only one last build, but I think two is uh, right now the way to go because um, you know the monster you equip um, with all you know your cards uh, can't actually be uh, special summoned. So what you could do if you really wanted to to go for a rank four uh, play is you could essentially equip him, uh, then banish him. And then equip, you know, your uh, Y or Z piece. And then special summon them if you want to do a rank 4. <clears throat> um, just, you know, kind of throwing it out there. And so, yeah. That's it for the monsters. Um, overall, this deck's even not... This deck's not actually, like, expensive either. Like, it's a solid, like, casual budget deck, honestly. Even though it's, like, all hollowed out for the most part. Um... Now, <clears throat> for spells, playing three copies of Terraforming, I mean, I mean sorry, not Terraforming, uh, Union Hanger, um, so Union Hanger, like, it's good, it does, like, it's better with ABCs, but with this, um, you know, you can essentially add, like, a Y or Z piece, you could add Y, summon and equip Z, uh, Z with this. Uh, you know, you can get to the YZ Fusion if you, I mean, even though we don't really, we don't play it. Um, that's like an option. So, you know, that like, there's, 
it, it helps kind of get out some of our pieces. So, yeah. So, next up, three copies of Fusion Deployment. This is the most expensive card in the deck. I think it's sitting at like eight, maybe like eight or nine bucks. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah, like this is, this is the most expensive card. Um, so... Yeah, that's like you could build this deck for less than a hundred bucks. Like, is even though like this, like my my deck here is mostly hollowed out. Um, should be able to yeah, definitely build it for like under a hundred. So, uh, with this, it, we use this to essentially uh, get out our X Y like you know any of our X Y Z pieces. Um, like, kind of like we go for X with this the most, um, just because you know it's it's a vanilla. Uh, but if we use this, we're locked into fusion, so that is something to just, you know, keep in mind. Uh, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. So, next up, uh, three copies of Enemy Controller. Um, why did I decide to play this? Um, well, a few reasons. One, you know, it's also, like, it, it's a Kaiba card, uh, but two, um, it has offensive and de uh, defensive capabilities. Uh, you essentially, you know, if you, you could book a moon, um, your opponent, you know, opponent's monster. Uh, also what you could do is, like, with, you know, your gold and, uh, silver gadgets, you can essentially summon them, tribute them, and then just steal your opponent's monsters for the turn. So there's, like, some really weird, like, OTK kind of potential there. Um, you know, if you really want to, you know, try to OTK, steal their, steal their stuff and go for it. Uh, but, you know... We're not playing a whole lot of Link monsters in this. Actually, we're only playing one. Um, but, you know, you could steal their stuff and then just Link it off. Um, I just love it. It's, like, honestly just a solid card, I, I think. So I'm playing two copies of Unauthorized Reactivation. So, um, with this, you basically equip a Union from your deck to an appropriate target. Um, there is one playing two of this and two Union Drivers. Uh, you can only activate this once per turn, and then Union Driver, um, the effect where you banish it <coughs> to summon a, or to, uh, you know, grab from deck a Union Monster and equip it to the monster it's equipped to, that's like a once per turn too. So, you know, you don't want to open, um, you know, like more than one of each really. So, yeah, that's why I do two of each of those. Um, Two copies of Unexpected Die. Uh, I bumped it down to two. Um, you know, like, we, we have Fusion Deployment, but, um, like, I, I don't know. Like, I think Fusion, you know, Fusion Deployment's just better, <coughs> excuse me, than uh, Unexpected Die. Because Unexpected Die, you have to control no monsters. With Fusion Deployment, it, it just special summons from the deck, so, but you're locked in Fusion. Um, so you never really want, you never, you never want to see this out, you know, after the first turn, or your opening hand. So, that's why I only play that too. <clears throat> then I play one Monster Reborn, uh, one Regeki, one Harpy's Feather Duster, one Terraforming, and then one Double or Nothing for the spell, uh, one-ups for the spells. Um... Utopia Double OTK is just stupidly good in this deck. Like, straight up. It's super easy to do for the most part. <clears throat> okay, so going to the traps. Play three copies of the new XYZ Hyper Cannon. So, a lot of people are saying this card's bad. And I know I did a, a video on this specifically. I'll link, link that in the description below. Uh, just briefly what it does. So, um, continuous trap on your turn. You can shuffle, or not shuffle, you put a uh, banished light union machine from your, uh, graveyard, or from your banished zone. <sighs> Sorry. Pretty, kind of tired, it's late. Um, and you put it on the bottom of your deck and you draw a card. And then, uh, during your opponent's turn, you essentially discard cards in your hand and then destroy, you know, that uh, number of cards, or the, you destroy card your opponent controls equal to the number of cards you discarded. So effectively with this you get to use XYZ Dragon Can's effect pretty much on your opponent's turn, that's what it really does. And then uh, your turn you essentially get to draw one, which is pretty freaking nice. 
Um, then, you know, it also recycles uh, your U light union, so that's cool. I uh, <clears throat> hate how it can't recycle, um, you know, our, our X piece. So, yeah. Uh, and then two copies of Union Scramble. Um, last few slots I thought pretty hard. And uh, I just felt like this overall was a good uh, card to play. Uh, this essentially targets three of your... Uh, Light, uh, light union machine monsters, you know, just light machine monsters that are banished. <clears throat> and you, uh, special summon it, and then, uh, you can, uh, except for the turn that sends a grave, you can banish it and then summon one. So that's pretty cool. Um, it's kind of like, uh, got like a neat little, like, OT, almost like OTK ish aspect. That's kind of what you want to do with this, uh, this build, I, you know, I feel like that's just kind of the, really the best way to go about the deck, uh, playing the deck as of right now. Um, you kind of just want to, like, OTK, uh, like, clear board and OTK. Um, it's kind of what, just, what, what you want to do. So, going off to Fusions, <clears throat> we play three of the big bad boy XYZ Dragon Cannons. Why am I playing three and not two? <coughs> well... Um, reason why is because of fusion deployment. Um, as I said, we're not playing the fusion of, uh, what was it, like, Y and Z. So, if we make the second one and we want to use fusion deployment to get another piece out, uh, we have the third copy. So, yeah. <sighs> Next up, we play three copies of, or sorry, two copies of... XZ metal can, or I'm sorry, yeah, tank cannon. <clears throat> um, if I remember correctly, this is the one that deals with uh, face down um, traps and spells. Um, so yeah, you essentially discard and then you can destroy a face down trap or spell. And we do two copies of XY dra uh, dragon cannon. Um, <clears throat> this is pretty much the same as. Uh, what you gonna call it? X Y here, but this does uh, face up traps and spells. Uh, reason why I'm playing this is because Sky Strikers are you know they're back. Um, so and you know like there's like field spells and stuff. So uh, I opted to play two two you know two of these just in case. Um, so yeah, and that's it for the fusions. Now, off to the XZs. <clears throat> now, obviously, we're playing the full Utopia package, which is the one Utopia, um, the one Utopia double, and then the Lightning. Um, the reason why I play the, you know, all three is, let's say we draw into double or nothing. Well, now you can make this, and a lot of times your opponent just wants to shotgun the Ash immediately, which they do, you can basically just say, I, I'm not using the effect, but thanks, now I know you have an Ash. And then you can go into this. And it leaves, um, what you call it, Utopia in the deck, or in the extra deck, and you can essentially use it for, you know, defensive capabilities. <clears throat> uh, we play one copy of Gear uh, Giant X, sorry. Um, just can grab, you know, a uh, level 4 lower machine we need, so, yeah. Uh, one Abyss Dweller, because Abyss Dweller is stupidly good, still, like, just great floodgate monster. <coughs> Sorry, my mouse, like, really dry, so. Uh, one copy of Tornado Dragon, deal with back row. Uh, just a nice, solid rank 4. Um, <coughs> one copy of Gaga Samurai. Now, the reason why I'm playing this is to kind of help with OTK, because, you know, OTK capabilities. Um, so, the thing is, in our main deck, all our monsters are essentially 1,800 or less. Actually, they're more like 1,700 and less, basically. Uh, well, X-Head Cannon here, or, yeah, X-Head Cannon is the only one that's 1,800, and this, you know, is 19, and it can attack twice. Um, just helps get that little extra bit of damage. So, that is it for the XZs. And off to the one link.
play one copy of Platinum Gadget because, you know, we're playing the gadgets and Platinum Gadget ain't too bad. So, that's so why you're playing him at one. So, <clears throat> guys, that is it for this deck profile. I hope y'all enjoyed it. It's been, you know, quite a bit of time since I've updated this deck. And, you know, hope I, I sincerely, sincerely hope you guys enjoy it. So, if you haven't already, go ahead and harpoon that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. Go ahead and harpoon that uh, like button if you guys like this video. And go ahead and drop any comments y'all have. And link in the description down below to my Instagram if you guys want to, you know, see a little bit of behind the scenes stuff. Just other stuff I'm doing in life, I guess, kind of. I post, like, my weekly fishing trips uh, pictures and stuff in there. So, yeah, guys, I will see y'all in the next video.